Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm doing a video here on the Zenith 228 one barrel down ref and in particular on the idle circuit. Uh, if you're having trouble with your idling, idle's too rough or won't idle, uh, you probably need to watch this video. Uh, it'd be nice if you know how the idle circuit works so you can diagnose your problem. This here is a cutaway view of a Zenith 228. It's a 228 because idle screw is uh, mounted down here at the bottom in the throttle body. A 28 is the screw is up here, so that's how you know you can easily tell the difference. This is a two-hole system, and uh, the reason I call two-hole systems is it's got two idle discharge holes. When the throttle plate is closed, the air fuel mixture will come out of this bottom hole here into the manifold. Now as you open the throttle up a little bit, it needs a little more air fuel mixture, so that, that will go up to this top hole here. So pretty soon you got it coming out both holes. Okay. Uh, turning your idle fuel mixture screw clockwise gets you more air, which makes it leaner. And counterclockwise uh, makes it richer mixture or less air. Be sure uh, when you're adjusting that your engine is at operating temperature and at idle speed. If you're not at idle speed, your carburetor is going to bypass your idle circuit and you can turn the screw all day long and it ain't going to make any difference. Now if you are at idle and the screw does not make any difference when you turn all the way in, you got a problem. And uh, that's what we're here hopefully to resolve. Uh, the problem could be uh, uh, a vacuum leak or, or possibly something clogged here. So fuel travels from your float bowl, this is your float right here, and there's a little passage here where the fuel flows through, and it comes through this metering jet, this idle jet, and there's a passage here that's uh, permanent, that's open to the air, and that helps mix air with the fuel, and then it travels down through, the, through this passage right here, don't, by the way, uh, don't try to remove this idle jet. It's permanent. It travels down through here and then goes out through one or both of the holes. Okay? Now, if your engine isn't idling, I already mentioned that it could be a vacuum leak, so uh, check, check for vacuum leaks, especially where your carburetor mounts, possibly where the throttle body uh, hooks up right about here I think make sure your passages are open you know blow these out if you can from the reverse direction you go down here get your uh, uh, get your air nozzle I have one that's kind of bent on the end that gets in there just fine and it'll blow back up here and so that's what you want to check out make sure this is open up here okay uh, Clean this really well. Like I say, that doesn't get removed. So the, these can easily get plugged up. They're not very big. So your problem is probably somewhere in there. Uh, take your screw out, blow through that hole, make sure it's nice and clean. And that's it. Thank you for watching. We appreciate the business.